Hey everybody, Life True New Good, this is B for One B Games, and welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All for the Nintendo DS. We are now going into the second part of the trial, well, the second trial of Chapter 2, aka Case 2, Reunion and Turnabout Part 4 1 Trial. So let us begin. <laughs> Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by herself, and she's still grown up! Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and, well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And, on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial! Second time! <laughs> um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning! The two of you look like you're doing well today! I'm happy for you! Hey, morning, Pearly! You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya! Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support! <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly! Hey, Pearls? Hmm? Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Why, you can't... You can't have... You, 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 you. <laughs> huh? I'm sort of hoping to send the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Man, we got this. Don't even worry about it. Pearls, you stay over there in the crowd. You do your thing, girl. I got you, okay? Mr. Nick, that's enough! You can't show weakness in front of the person you love! Pearly! Not this again! Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. Pearls, wait! Phew, thank goodness. Nick? This way, this way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. Oh! What do you mean? What's going on? Oh, that makes... Okay, that look... Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. I completely forgot that Morgan is uh, is a witness. Isn't she? Oh, that makes so much sense. Wait, of course, because we're going to... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. We just literally did the last episode like a few minutes ago and I already forgot the fact that she is a prime suspect in this case. That we're going to pin the murder on her, so of course he doesn't want her to see it. June 22nd, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. She's already there. She already shares what? Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fair. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Don't think you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally. Yeah. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Aha. Uh -huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. <laughs> Glad to see you're such a good spirit today, Miss Faye. Ah, uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now then, enough for the car fight. A very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. All right, what's her? The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? So she's agreeing with us. But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Fe, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. 
just as I suspected. Aunt, M Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. So torn that I forgot her voice. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay. I completely forgot her voice, too. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? <laughs> ah! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you could watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on my sick Maya then. The spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from one uh, from a body and send it back to the other world, that is. Yes, that is. <laughs> you be quiet! Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. When in the world could have Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Faye, who in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Order, order, order! Miss Faye, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. So much that I can't remember Maya's voice. I mean, Mia's voice for the life of me. After you heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please co contact their police. A pistol was hanging from Mr. Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Liar! That's not what you told us! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Why have you hidden this until now? I... I do not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mystic Phoenix, right? Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross examination, please. My aunt is a very smart person. Uh, I, I don't know why. I don't know. I just kept mi mixing up the words. My aunt is a very smart and slight person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Well, ain't nothing to it but to try, right? Just now, you said those two. <laughs> Phoenix, who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Ah, right click. Um, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her choice of English. That's not just she looked off. <laughs> I can already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I've already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, wait, we said that, didn't we? <laughs> we said that. Send a repair bill to our office. We got this. Uh, Phoenix, you idiot. Hmm. What did you do after that, Miss Frey? I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. We're just gonna keep going through this. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another... Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I wanted to hear the end of that sentence. Sure. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify! Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Oh. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us. Uh, looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. Timmy! Uh, of 
course. During our investigation, you stated, yeah, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head, and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. <gasps> but, but why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. Objection! The witness was lying for, uh, to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? Well, obviously, whenever they pop up, we have to question further, but it's just gonna be bad for us. So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade Mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What? Pray tell this- ah! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Yes, very well. Ah, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. <laughs> Was it really that easy for her to escape you from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing, however, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There is no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Objection! Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically my affair. Ah! Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. No one asked you! Shut up, Judge! Dang it. You're just making me click into the evidence, dammit. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... Okay. I can't see a crack in her testimony. But what should we do? For now, we should try and get more information out of her. After we get more information from her, we may be able to use it later on to our advantage. Oh, okay, so literally just press everything. Alright. Fainted. I became dizzy, and I collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? Hmm... And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness, elaborate on that point for us. <gasps> Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? I feel like this is a leave her be statement. If she fainted, then there's no way she could testify any more than she has. If I press her, I'm not going to get anything useful anyway. Dope. Okay, so I was supposed to do that correct. Okay. Nice. 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 We, <laughs> we learned it over here. That's enough. From what I can tell, there was nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And for what she has said, we can establish that Marfei did leave the chamber. Hmm. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That is exactly where we should be- ah! Be quiet, you! Now then, what the escapee has done it was, uh, was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She- she wanted to speak with someone? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Miney? B oh, that would make sense what she said in the last episode. I think you can see where this is headed. <coughs> Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, Eeny Miney. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's, like, I guess, um, most people call it occult stuff? Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, my affair. Is this correct? Um, well, um, like, I guess? If that's the case, you let's hear your testimony. 
that is alright, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. <laughs> for all of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine for my sake. Damn you. Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. Oh, snap. It was, like, oh my god, totally my sister. I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy, in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that ended was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really now, Your Honor. Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Miney, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged. With sleeping pills. I got okay, I'll, I'll try to find a, a voice for her. I was murdered. By that person. That's why I took my revenge. Oh, from the beginning of this case. It's only fair, isn't it? Eni? She took her revenge? Are you sure that's what she said? Yes! There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? No! I still can't believe it! I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge! It is a bit hard to swallow. <laughs> like a sleeping pill! <laughs> I got you! Ah, yeah, yeah! Oh, that was, that was, oh, yeah. That, mm. However, all the evidence and testimonies pointed this as the truth. The end. No! What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This... This testimony just now. Was it all made off? Was it just, was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. STOP FADING MY MIND, PLEASE! Mia! What do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Or tapestry, whatever. Your Honor. There is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish trouble. I wonder if you'll make this one more interest uh one more entertaining than the last. Well, we shall see, won't we? In the next episode, I was debating whether or not we should stop now, but I think this is a good place to stop. We'll stop here at Eni's uh, testimony, and then we'll come back next time, because uh, we're going to stop recording Phoenix for today, because we got another series that I have yet to actually put up any episodes for. Uh, one that hopefully we are almost finished with, so we can finally get that done and put that in the finished section of our LPs, and then maybe, just maybe... Next week, Monday, we can start up another series, which we put in the back burner. And which I can finally start uploading alongside Phoenix Wright. And that will lead us until October, when we have yet another series that we need to start. A new one, of course, for Horror Month. What that series is, I will not say. I think I've said it before. But uh, let's just say that it has to do with a certain... well. Not a certain, I should say it is created by someone who has created a masterpiece of games. I mean, pretty much almost all the games he's created have been masterpieces. All the games that he's been behind. 
uh, one being a very, very, very noteworthy series that was on Sony consoles for a while. Kept you waiting, huh? That's all I will say for now as my uh, little hint for what series we're going to play. There's a horror game from this puppet, from this person. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Joseph Ferrault. Next time, we will continue with any Miney's testimony, go through, cross-examine it, find out the lies, reveal the truths, all that good stuff. So, watch out for episode... I want to say 18, dropping on Monday? No. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not actually sure when the next time I'll be able to record it. Uh, probably Friday. Friday, yeah. Yeah, I want to say I might be able to record Friday. We'll see what happens. If I'm working in the morning, but uh, we'll, s we'll see what happens then. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.